Hey guys, I'm Spikasaurus, and today we are turning an end city into something a little more interesting. Welcome to the channel. How's it going everyone? I hope you're ready for today's end city transformation. If you're new to the channel and enjoy this video, give it a like and make sure to subscribe. I'll be putting out a video every Friday, so look out for my next one. Make sure to comment below what I should transform next. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is double the scale of this first building, but keep all the designs. This way we will have a lot more room to work with for the depth and detail. It does look a bit odd at first though. The first detail I wanted to bring out was the purple pillar blocks on the corners of the building. I basically turned them into pillars with a larger radius. To get more depth, I push the walls back one block, and I do this so that the details I add don't look like they're just extending out into the air. And that makes this building look much better, but we still have more to do. Now for those details, I first create borders around the windows that extend one block out and I build in a magenta concrete backdrop for the windows so they really pop. I also use terracotta to add contrast to the walls. Here I decide to change the purple pillars to end stone but still keep the purple visible in between the pillars because I thought it was an important element. Now that we have one wall complete, I take that wall design and wrap it around the rest of the building. Now it is time to tackle a very important feature, the roof. The style here could have gone so many ways, but I really enjoyed the idea of an oriental roof design. It actually ended up really suiting the whole theme of a futuristic city very well, at least in my opinion. What do you all think of this first building redesign? Let me know in the comments below. Now for a final touch on this building, I integrate the underside of the roof with the pillars on the corner acting as supports. Okay, now it is time to build the first large pillar that connects to all of the other buildings, but first I need to make room for it. So I'm keeping everything in the right position, just moving it out or up for the time being so that I can get in there and focus on the pillar design first. Initially, I make it wider to match the scale of the bottom building, then I scale the room above the pillar in the same way. This part was fun, and again, it could have taken so many directions, but I decided on an oval design, at least initially. After playing with the shape for a bit, building in some terracotta, and adding in the pink lights, the design turned more into an overhanging roof that also supported the room above. With that idea in mind, I start detailing the upper room. Now that I have a basic design language used in the lower house, I can take those elements and include them on this room. Also on the corners, I used the support idea to connect the room to the terracotta structure below and detail it with purple and slabs. Once again, I build in another roof to fit this building. I can tell this transformation is going to give me a lot of practice with building these roofs. I really like the curved up corners on this one. Now that I have one tower and base combo complete, I can take those elements and insert them where they already exist, saving me a bit of time. Now it comes time to connect the two structures with a bridge design. I keep the original purple blocks, but also add glass panels to the floor so you can get a feel for how high up you are. I also add a cover matching the style of the arch just above it. The buildings in the original city just kind of sit in the air. In this transformation, I decide to give them large thrusters to keep them afloat. I use a light source and the glass blocks and glass panes to get a magical look. And instead of doing it by hand, I create the general shape with sponge and replace it randomly with commands into the glass blocks and glass panes. I then finish up some detailing with the viewing areas and the same slab support from the top of the tower, but now on the bottom of this house. 
After finishing the bottom of the house, I finished the underside of this bridge. I add a bit of support with end stone and also use the same slab style to create a cool texture over the purper. Once I am done, I add it to the three remaining walls. Now that I have a bridge design style, I take pieces of it to form the same shape that the original city had to get to this small house. I double the scale of the house, add some of the previous features but also some new designs. Here I make the purper pillars wider on the corners and then I start on another roof variation for the small houses. Then disaster struck when I logged into my server to find that the tower had gotten messed up somehow. I was able to salvage the mess and then get back to work on the thruster for this small house. This small house and bridge section can now be transformed with pieces that I have already built. The same thing goes for this house section and this house section, except this house doesn't have any pillar on top, so I bring the roof up to a point. Okay, so here is a new, different two-story building design, and there are two on top of each other. I scale one and detail it in the same way that I have been doing for the other houses, also adding a roof and thruster. I did move the other house over though, that way its thruster wasn't blasting directly into the house below. It also made for a cool, curving stair section, which I liked. Now this tower over here, this one is smaller and different, so I have fun creating a new tower design that acts as the little brother to the larger one. The small house on top I think turned out very well, and then I build in the rest of the tower with similar features. We are very close to being done here. I just place in this two-story house and bridge section, as well as the bridge section leading to the dock for the flying boat. On it, I add a small covered walkway section extending from the original arch and some nifty flags. Okay, now for the flying boat. I first extend it just a few blocks so that I can smooth the shape of it a bit and then move and extend the mast upwards. Next, I work on a simple railing and decide to change the hull of the ship to terracotta so that the purple accents really stand out. Then I got the crazy idea of taking a roof section and using it for the ship. I use a small corner and work it into a cool triangular roof to cover the captain's quarters. I then spend some time finishing the side window. Now originally I planned on making a big sail, but then I realized it would make sense to give it thrusters on each side. That way it matched the technology in the city. I add a mesh cover with purple slabs so that you don't fall in, and the same glass and sea lantern technique for the thruster. I then put the mast back in the original location and finish the back window. I really liked the way this turned out. Now just one last thing. I finish the base and touch up the bottom entrance and with that we have completed today's transformation. Started to fall, and where were you? How could I know you were falling to grabbing the wind? As always, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you thought that was awesome, consider subscribing. Give the video a like if you like it, a dislike if you didn't. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Comment below what you think I should transform next. I'm Spike Asaurus, and I'll see you next time.